Hello from News 3. I'm Blaine Stewart. Here's what's topping our headlines right now. Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin just out with a plan to narrow achievement gaps in the public school system. According to a report out this morning, reading SOL test scores for grades 3 to 8 declined each year from 2017 to 2019. The governor says that came after the State Board of Education changed its policy to de-emphasize reading and mathematics. Specifics of the recovery plan right now on WTKR.com. Heads up later today, big job fair is set to get underway. This is for Norfolk Public Schools. Like nearly everyone, they're dealing with staff shortages, so they're trying to hire positions at seven schools in the district. This job fair starts this evening at 530 at the Southside STEM Academy at Camp Estella. Goes until 730 and here is the incentive. District's offering a two thousand dollar signing bonus. A big deadline coming up at our St. Jude Dream Home giveaway. Get your ticket by tomorrow and you are in the running for the bonus prize. Sweets at both a Norfolk Tides and Baltimore Orioles baseball game courtesy of 97.3. The Eagle each ticket is one hundred dollars and there are only a few hundred left. So reserve yours now at WTKR.com. We are talking heat and humidity in the first warning forecast. Hello, meteorologist Maddie Kirker. Hey there, Blaine, and happy Thursday to everybody. For the day today, we are generally going to be dry, but yes, noticeably warmer than what we had out there yesterday. Upper 80s in the forecast, heading into overnight tonight, looking at lows to be right around 70. Now, there is going to be the chance of even hotter weather moving in. As a matter of fact, 94 for tomorrow and 95, the hottest day of the weekend, is going to be on Saturday. Tracking some rain as we close out the weekend and this cold front will be moving in and staying put. It looks like increased rain chances stay with us into early next week. Taking a look now at your first warning seven day forecast. Few storms in North Carolina overnight tonight should be dry for tomorrow and the heat really cranks up on Saturday.